<laughs> Funny enough, on my way home just now from seeing the movie, I'm driving and I'm on the parkway and I just like happen to look up in the sky and I just see like these lights just going around just like... Okay, what the fuck was that? Welcome all my YouTubers, subscribers, horror movie fans alike. Hope you guys are having a great day. Good start to your weekend because Jordan Peele's newest movie, Nope, especially out in theaters right now. I got done seeing the movie in IMAX and I gotta say for an IMAX horror movie, was bad. Although it's more science fiction than horror. There are horror elements in it, but it's also kind of like a straight science fiction-ish movie. Horror in it, but I will say as an IMAX movie, it was quite effective. It was good. When you see like the alien and shit, like when it's doing his thing and people are dying, it's like, uh, just, it, it, the deaths are much better in IMAX. Not to say when you see it in a regular, just like don't see it at a crappy theater. See it at a theater that has good actual sound and you will have a good time with it. That being said, let's just get right to it, guys. Let's talk about some spoilers for Nope. If you haven't seen the movie, it's in theaters officially tomorrow on Friday. So if you don't care about spoilers, then here we go. We're going to spoil the movie for you. And if you don't do care about spoilers, then watch the movie first, then come back, talk about some spoilers, talk about the ending of the movie. So let's just go talk about it. Okay, first of all, where can we start? The beginning. The movie kind of opens up and we get this like, what was it? It was just like, mm, like we're on this like set or whatever of some type of, you know, like family show or something like family man or something and you just see all this carnage and shit like that you see like this monkey this monkey was just beating the fuck out of somebody and shit like that so you're like oh, oh what's that and it cuts to um daniel i'm so bad with names kalua that's his name cut to him and everything like that and he's with his pops and everything like that played by keith davis goliath Fuck yeah, that was good seeing him. They're just like, you know, talking about her father or something like that. And then all of a sudden, it's just like things start raining from the sky. And next thing you know, Keith Davis just falls over on his horse. And then, you know, they go to the hospital. His face is just like two-faced fucked up. Uh, again, the movie does a great job about the jump. Getting you like thinking like, oh, what what is going on? What is what is happening? Because it just started raining nickels and shit. Nickels and keys and all type of weird shit. So you're like, it's truth is... It's up there somewhere. What is happening? Pretty much, we get to the part you saw in the trailer with Kiki Palmer and Daniel. They're pretty much just kicking in and stuff like that, you know, just having a good time. Not really. And it just comes to like, it ends up happening that, you know, of course, we got growing pain, shit like that. Kid Daniel wants to sell the farm, want to get the horses, stuff like that. You're kind of just like, I, I forgot it that fast. Get to the aliens and shit like that. Get to the entry because the first half of the movie is. Should I say slow? It, uh, it's slow, but it's like building up. It's still got that intrigue going, but it is still kind of like a, come on, pick it up. So then we do pick it up and stuff like that because, you know, like I said, Kiki Palmer just chilling or whatever. The power goes out and Daniel just happens to look over. You see this ominous cloud just look lurking. You're just like, oh, is the alien in the clouds, stuff like that. And then I like how you see the alien shit. You see it like, oh, so like, it's just like blinking, you miss it. I like that shit. I was like, oh. I'll lean next person next to me like, did you see, did you see that? The, I'm a fun person to go to the movies with. I'll be the person, I won't talk a lot, but I'll be like, do you see that shit? That was crazy. But anyway, more or less, the real big meat and potatoes of it all is that when you, this alien is not really like aliens in the sense of like, you know, little green men and shit like that, or the aliens from, you know, men and black or something. And this, this ship, the ship itself, is the alien this the flying saucer is the alien itself is a thing and it just sucks people up and just digests them and eats them and spits them out and it's all bloody and gory it, i said it was spoilers so now you know but then it, it's like an interesting take because like i said for me i feel that it works more on an imax screen because it's larger than life so you see this big ass flying saucer thing and it's just devouring folks and eating them and shit it's just like it's larger than life you're just like <gasps> So it just makes it some good shit. I had a good time with it. Also, like I said, the character moments are good too. Like I said, Kiki Palmer steals every scene. She is in, she just eats it up. He just oozes charisma. I love it. Daniel is just kind of like the the character playing is the straight man shit like that. But he is, again, like I said, in my non-spoiler video. He's the guy that's pretty much just like the black dude in horror movie. That's like, nope, peace out. I'm done. No, nope. it was seeing where it's like this alien thing. Like when it starts getting on the scene and shit, it like sends out an EMP and shit that just knocks out all electronic stuff by that. So it's like whenever we get over something, the car battery would die, stuff like that. And then they will just happen to lurk his head out. You see the monster just lurking. He's just like, nope. And I was like, ah, that's a smart dude. So more or less the meat and potato of the plot is that it's really simple. They're just like, okay, UFO and shit. Let's be the first people to get some footage of it and we'll be rich. Pretty simple plot, yeah. 
So let's just get ready. Let's film this alien. It's also one of the things that's like, we got to work it out, shit like that. How do we get a picture of an alien and it's real? Because, you know, Diamond does it. Like a legit, like, shot of, like, the alien's asshole. That's what we need. And they get it. Spoilers. So, like I said, there was a scene in the movie, like I said, we had Steven Yu's character and the alien gets on the scene. He just sucks the fuck out of everything. And you see the inside of the alien and it's just like, I don't really know what it's doing. It's like Jetson or something. I kind of wish we saw like more graphic of it because like I said, you think like it's a ship, but it's a living thing. And humans are getting like sucked up. I like to see like on some whole, like, you know, people's faces getting dissolved in the ass and the shit. I'm a morbid bastard. But that's what I like to see in my horror movies. And then it comes to a point where the thing gets over their house and it just starts, you know, raining blood. And you realize it's just spitting out all the, or, you know, I guess everything could dissolve and shit like that. And it's just, it, it's nasty. So more or less in the movie, it comes that, okay, yeah, we want to, they call up this movie producer or film director that they was working with in the beginning of the movie. And he's like, okay, an alien, let's just, let's film it. I got these IMAX cameras. They film the best shit. They get everything rigged up and stuff like that. And they try to film the alien. They bring it out. And of course, TMZ, because TMZ is just TMZ. They get on the scene and dude pretty much gets fucked up. And then the alien sucks him up. And it's, it's bad news for Jeff. So then Daniel's on his horse, just running, 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 running. And the alien's coming after him. Kiki Palmer's like, no! And then the alien does something that I was kind of like, what the hell is happening? It just starts morphing into this, like, uh, it, like, it turns from flying saucer to, like, this, like, I don't know, just some type of, like, jellyfish Pokemon thing. I don't know what the fuck it was. When it did it, I was like, uh, oh, what, 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 what? Again, it's like, it's, it's, it's gonna be one of those things just like, take it or leave it. You're gonna be like, either roll with it or be like, oh, 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 what, 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 why'd do that? Anyway, it does it, stuff like that. And then Kiki Palmer, she gets a picture of the thing, a really good picture, cause they make this inflatable thing fly up or two it, it sucks it up and then it blows up. I think the alien died with it too. I think it died. If you saw the movie and then type below, did you think it died or not? I thought its head or its body explode. And I guess it's dead. Or is it not? Let me know. But now in the day, Nope was still an enjoyable sci-fi movie if you go into the movie thinking as a sci-fi movie. You're better going to the movie not knowing what it is at all. I think you'll enjoy it more not knowing what the fuck has happened if you can just experience for yourself and be like, oh shit, I'm trying to piece it all together. But Nope is in theaters officially. Now you're going to see it. You're not going to see a type of movie. Just talk about it. What are your thoughts on Nope? You excited for it? You thought it was shit? You thought it was like the best movie of the year? What do you think? Type of movie. Just talk about it. See you guys in the next video. And as always, subscribe. Until next time.